Hey everybody, when you open up GIMP and you want to create your own image from scratch, click on File, New, and you have the Create a New Image dialog box right there. Keep in mind this is important. If you just want to edit a photo, don't create a new image. Just open the place where the photo is and start with the photo. That's the best way. So. Again, click on File, New, and it starts off with the default of an image of 600 by 400 pixels. And we're going to talk about that kind of image first. The image that you're only going to see on your computer, not necessarily for printing. That's a big difference, and I'll show you that next. So we have our 600 by 400 new image with a white background because the background color is white. And we're showing it at 100%. Not very big. So to see how small this actually is, let's put some text in there. Some text at 600 by 400. Okay, well it looks fine at this resolution at 100%, but once you zoom in, you can tell that even as big as that text is covering the entire image, it's very pixely, not very useful for what we're going to do going forward in my tutorials, especially since text is my next tutorial. So. Going forward, every new image that we make when we click on File and New will be 1920 by 1080. You might have heard of that before. The reason why is because 99% of the monitors that are coming out today, including this one that I have here, are 1920 by 1080. So let's go ahead and put some text in here. 1920 by 1080. Okay, now this is at 66.7%. If I zoom in on it so that it'll be the same size as if it was my full screen, the text is a lot bigger than that other example and uh, very smooth. So that's it. Okay, now we are going to create a new image, but for printing. Make sure that this says inches, not pixels. And for example, my printer can do a letter size print. So we're going to go with eight and a half by 11. That'll automatically make it portrait. And it starts off at 72 ppi or dpi for printing, and I'll show you how that works. Well, let's make some text so that we can see uh, how this compares to other resolutions. Okay, there we go. Let's zoom into that 1 and 16th inch text. I can barely read it. 1 8 inch text isn't much better. Uh, I start to look good here at the 1 inch level, but that's still pretty pixelated. So let's try a new image, but instead of the 72 ppi or dpi, we're going to go for 150. Eight point five by 11, 150. DPI. Now let's make some text here too. Okay, all of these are the exact same size as they were in the 72 dot per inch resolution image, but now we've got 150. So that 100, that 1 16th inch text looks a lot better. The 1 8th inch text is a lot more readable. And when we even get up to the one inch text, it's very smooth, very usable for doing a lot of text editing. Let's try one at 300. File, new. Make sure that it's an in inches eight and a half by 11 at a resolution of 300. And now let's make some more text. Okay, let's zoom into that 16th inch text. Look at that, looks pretty good. I'm at 300% here and you can still read it, meaning that when I print this out, you'll be able to read this one at 300 DPI better than you will reading this one at 150 DPI. And of course, way better than the one at 72 DPI.
And sure enough, look at that text. 72 dpi, you can barely read the 1 16th inch text. Looks a lot better at the 150, 150 dpi level, but at the 300 dpi level, it looks perfect. Uh, the 300 dpi text at its largest is just fantastic. Uh, you go to the 150, it's pretty good, but at the 72, you can even see the pixels uh, just by the naked eye looking at it. And there you go. Anytime we want to make a new image just for looking at the screen, click on Pixels, 1920 by 1080. The PPI does not matter. And click on OK. Anytime we're going to make a new image, but for printing, click on Inches, 8.5 by 11 for a letter advanced options and go to the resolution and type in 300 each time and click on OK. And there you go. I'm Anthony and thanks for watching.